Hi, this is Janet from Try It, Like It, Create It. And I'm coming to you with some more goodies that I received at the Prime Blogger Conference held in Chicago from May 16th to 17th. And one of the sponsors was ThermaWeb. And they provided um, a make and take as well as this um, goodie bag. So I want to share the make and takes from the conference and I want to share uh, what came in the goodie bag from ThermaWeb. So um, the first one we did was um, with this um, Modern Masters um, patina where you paint, this is a glass votive, and we painted the copper color on the outside and then you spray it and you let it set for overnight and then you spray it and um, you end up with this kind of, sorry about jostling the camera, I'm trying to grab packages off to the side here. Um, you get this rusted kind of patina and this is the kit that I used for this. This is the one that has the more blue effect. It's a blue patina finish. I don't know, it looks a little more green to me than blue. Um, but you paint with the primer and then you put the bronze on it and then you spray the patina and depending on how you spray it and how much you spray it and let it drip, you can see that it gives it this kind of rusted, worn look and like I said this was originally glass um, so hopefully you can see um, how that changes the surface that you apply it to. So that was the first make and take that we did um, and that was the first make and take that we did of the conference. Then we also did um, the second morning we did a stencil project with deco art and uh, this is a stencil project I did and they gave us these um, their value craft stencils and this is not the one I worked with I'm not sure where I have that but this was another one that I, I grabbed because I happen to like this kind of watering can here and each package comes with two stencils in it so you can see both of these stencils come in the package. So you see the words here and then um, the other stencil is inside and the, then the pictures give you some ideas. Um, and we were told that some of the best ways to work with stenciling was to use a cosmetic sponge. So that was one of the things that we did. And um, they gave us these wooden plaques to work on and um, this was mine. Um, I painted the surface white and then um, stenciled, stenciled in the flower circle and then the type in the center. Um, so that was our morning, our second morning project. And then later that afternoon came the ThermaWeb um, projects. And I'll share the projects with you first and then I will share with you what came in the goodie bag. So um, we had all of this prepped for us and they did a demo on how it all works and then um, gave us these little kits to sit down and work with. And so what they were showing us, um, that this is some great kind of like t-shirt yarn that was came from Darn Good Yarn. Um, what we did was make these three tags. And so what we started off with was um, some foam, which they gave us, and I'll show that to you in a moment, the foam, and then we just rubbed the transfer foil down onto it and um, we ended up with this for one tag and then the piece that came cutting out of it we put their flocking on it and this is a softer material so you put this on and they had us run it um, through a dye machine but really any kind of pressure um, I'm thinking, you know, they were talking about a rolling pin and things like that that would work, but I'm thinking like a back of a spoon or um, a bone folder just to kind of rub it down and get the flocking to stick to the double-sided. And this is foam, so you, I don't know if you can see that there's a little dimension to it there. Um, but that's the foam. This was the foam. These two pieces, these came from each other. This one has the foil. This one has the flocking. I hope that's not confusing. And then the last one we did was with tape, and this is the different colors of flocking. And so these were just strips of double-sided tape, and then we cut off a few pieces. Here's the different colors of flocking that they gave us to work with. And we just cut off strips, 
and put it down. So you can see I took a little more of the green for the leaf. Um, so you just put it down and uh, we, like I said, we ran it through a cute little dye machine and um, that helped put the pressure that was needed to transfer that. Um, so the film just needs to be rubbed and the flocking needs a little bit extra pressure. And this was the piece that was left over um, from doing this tag and um, so for this they gave us a card to adhere this to so it was kind of what they called a little bonus project and I have not glued that down yet but that's my next step is to glue that down to this card and then I will have one more project from this little set of samples so let me put the materials back in here and move on to what came in the, the green goodie bag. And all of this came from Deco Art. Um, so this is their iCraft Ultra Bond. And this um, dries clear, it's a permanent acid free. And this is the thing I will use to glue down that extra piece onto the card. Um, here is some of their transfer foil comes with five sheets in here and it looks like I've got a kind of an ombre of um, pink orange and yellow here um, so that's the foil I also got a package of gold foil transfer sheets and this works um, with the glue it works with their adhesive pen so you can write with the pen and then um, you can see here you rub down you write with the pen first and then you rub the foil on top of it and when you peel it away the foil sticks um, so those all work together as well as um, these two different packages of tape these are from Gina K and this is terrific tape um, so it says it's easy to tear, it's double-sided, adhesive, permanent, acid-free. And this is what we did the tags with. And then um, they also gave us foam tape that works uh, very much like the little leaf they gave us. And then they also gave us uh, some packages. And this is the um, foam, and he's trying to get the whole label in here in the video. Um, this is the foam adhesive that was the leaf and you can die cut it you can cut it with scissors um, but it is this has two pieces in here and uh, what is it six by twelve it says so personal cutting machine die cutter scissors punches uh, anything like that and you can cut out a shape and then put foil on it or put the flocking on it and then they gave us um, a package of fancy foils this says twinkling pink um, and they they know me because uh, I am kind of a pink girl I really do enjoy pink and then for the flocking they gave us um, a sample oh, I should tell you there's in the twinkle pink foil there's 12 sheets and then the flocking here's the packaging for that um, the flocking transfer sheets comes with four sheets and this package is um, all sunshine yellow so um, they have different colors and um, it talks about how to apply it and how to work with it on the back um, and then each package gives you some samples here so you can see um, I'm not sure if this has been cut or if it's been embossed um, but you can see here that it's three-dimensional and that they've die cut it and kind of using it to make a flower so um, lots of different possibilities with that and all of this was from Thermo Web um, and like I said we did a make and take with them as well so the three make and takes were um, from Rust-Oleum with the patina the deco art stenciling and then um, the thermal web and the deco foil and flocking so look for more of this um, to come in videos from me 
uh, showing you different projects that I make using these items. And if you have used any of these items, I'd love to hear your comments down below. Um, tell me how you like them, what you made with it, maybe even if you can share a link to a picture. Um, I'd love to see that. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, um, and most of the videos that I do are going to be uh, craft tutorial based. So if that's up your alley, then make sure to subscribe so you are notified when my next video comes live. And um, I would love a thumbs up if you enjoyed seeing all of the make and takes and the goodies um, from Gina K and ThermaWeb from the Prime Blogger Conference held in Chicago in May 16th through 17th. And I know that they will have more conferences coming in the future. And um, this is part of their educational bent and um, they want to work with bloggers and help them do what they need to do um, kind of behind the scenes so um, this was a wonderful conference to attend I highly recommend it to anyone who would be interested and um, if you're not familiar with the name um, Prime then you're probably more familiar with Save Craft um, and they have you know over a hundred different websites um, from things like free crochet, free, free knitting, um, all kinds of different free patterns as well as um, cooking and recipes. So um, do take a moment to thank the different sponsors and share with me anything that you have done with any of these items. Thanks again.